Hello guys, good evening. Uh, yeah, welcome back to our new series. Uh, tonight, uh, we are going to upgrade our last ESP.NET Core Web API series. So that was created in ESP.NET Core 3.1, but we are going to upgrade it into .NET 6. So I have installed Visual Studio 2022. Uh, so where is the one? Actually, I, I will fire up now. This is the Microsoft Visual Studio 2022. Right, so we'll create a new project. This is just an upgrade for our previous version in our demo. So we'll be creating ASP.NET Core with API JWT authentication with uh, ASP.NET Core identity system, right? So we select this. Oh, yeah, we create. And then we name this as let's just say authentication authentication of 6.0. So this is for .NET 6. Authentication uh, API, Authentication API 6.0. All right, so we click next now. And then, of course, this is now .NET 6 long term. Of course, you have previous version out of support already, .NET 5. And .NET Core 3.1, this, yeah. is Google, this is the one that we are using in the previous video. Right, so that needs six. So this is a new service. Okay, we can configure for HTTPS. We use Open ID for the Swagger. So this is another new option. So we will now proceed create. So. My laptop has been using a lot. So there is a Visual Studio 2019. And this is the previous one that we're creating. And then we just upgrade it. So as you notice this one in the .NET Core 3.1, we have a startup class. Okay. So this is where the dependency injection is being the builder host right now. Now, the big difference in .NET 6 now is that here in .NET 6, as you can see, there's no startup class anymore, right? So there's no startup class. All I have is program.cs. And then the entry point now is the program.cs. Okay? So you can see here, builder, web application create, builder, args. And then this is the way how we add services to the container. So builder that services add container and now we have the endpoint. We are using the open uh, open API the swagger. So it's very it's already built in here. So when we run this one, we can have the swagger. So that's the main difference in that need core 3.1. You have the startup class for the dependency injection. Uh, you can add uh, services there, but in that need six. It's not there. There's no startup. It's everything from the class. So this is the Swagger. The, the by default, of course, we have the weather forecast. So you can see here. So if you are going to try it out, you can just click here and execute, and it will generate this one. This is the details. So we are going to continue. We are just going to upgrade what we've done in the previous. So first and foremost, uh, I will create the folder here for our DB context. So I will name it as DB context. Uh, I think that's, that's good. And then now we are to create a class for our connection. 
So, I will name it authentication and DB context. Same as before. Authentication DB context. So, we are going to inherit the identity DB context because we will be using the ESP.NET for identity system. But of course, uh, it's not here because we need to install package. So, the first package that we are going to install, we, this is the previous project that we have. So, as you can see here, uh, these are the frameworks, the packages. So, we need to install ESP.NET for identity for so we'll just copy it and just grab this so now we are not going to this is the dot net six so I'll go to the tools and then package manager console and then of course this is authentication API 6.0 so we install packets install packets and the packets is Microsoft is with that here for identity framework so before we are including the version but now we are now we are in the latest that needs six so we just get the latest so we enter that so what's the problem Install package, the install package is not required as the name. Or uh, we missed fill the package. So we redo it. Install package. Okay. Okay, guys, so it's been installed now. So if you look at our dependency, the package, we have now ESP.NET for Identity Framework Core, and that is version 6.0. So we can now bring the name piece here. All right, this is this one. Okay. All right, so we have ESP.NET for Identity in the frameworks. Then we are going to create a constructor. And then we are going to pass the DB configs option. It's option here. And then option, variable option. But of course, this is not available because we have not installed the dependency for the uh, entity framework for. So I copy this. And we need to install it again in our .NET, .NET 6. Let's so install package. We don't specify the version again because we are going to get the latest. So as you can see, we have now Microsoft Entity, Entity Framework for 6.0.7. We can now bring the name face for the DB context option. All right, it's there. And then, of course, we got to inherit the. Yeah, so this is definitely six. So we just go up and it's inherit now the uh, identity DB context. Okay, so that is how to create your DB context now we are going to execute because before we use the startup so just like here this is our previous project so as you can see we have services at db context like that now in this is not the same with that .NET 6 in that .NET 6 we are going to add it in the program that it is so as you can see here this is the add services to your container. So if we stay like that, it will be a error. So all you have to do is to call the builder first. Builder that. And then you see there's a services here. And then 
the add db context and then the authentication db context right that's it all right and then that's how we inject and of course the scale server and configuration here we need to get the builder that configuration builder is not exist so this is small later like that and of course the SQL server is not installed the package for this one Microsoft Entity Framework SQL server so we need to copy it and install it in our .NET 6 all right we come here in .NET 6 and then we install the package And the typical server. <clears throat> Again, there's an error. Install package. It's your server. Why I put to? All right. So as you can see here, we have uh, it's your server now in the package. Uh, so we can bring the name this now. Uh, here, so it's now okay. So that's a little changes, guys. So as you can see, and the previous is with that need for 3.1. Uh, we configure the dependency injection in the startup classes just like this. But so right guys, so in that mid six it's all like the builder then the services and the context and then uh the configuration builder the configuration is built in also in the net quarter point one we have this in our configuration we Inject that in the constructor like this, but in that need six, you can just see builder, which is just the variable web application that create builder, and you can get the connection. All right, so the connection in our app setting is not here, so we just copy the connection from our previous one. App setting here. So this one we have to copy it and we paste it in here. Uh, that needs six configuration so we can just add it here below okay and then we just change the db because we already have this we add 6.0 right okay so i think that's enough we can now create the migration to create the actual database for asp.net for identity so we need to add migration command and the name of the migration initial db like that oh my gosh it's the problem here i think just like before in our previous video we need to install first this one the tools in uh, microsoft entity framework for tools so that we can have the add migration command so install graphics like that so that is specifying the version so we we'll get the latest version so we have the tools now and then now we can add migration add migration will create a migration folder and the seed i mean the structure of the tables that will be created in our SQL server so in a db so it's now creating guys so you can see here we have migration and init db and then these are the 
class that has been created. So it will create ESP.NetRoll stables, ESP.NET user. So this is built in from ESP.NET identity or ESP.NET core identity system. All right. So to actually create the DB and table, we need to issue a command update DB. Update database, I mean. Okay. So we can have we can check our uh, database it it's already created the database name this one authentication db 6.0 so this is our school server we just refresh this all right guys we are able to create the database 6.0 and then of course these are the tables we have migration, it's been a role stream, it is so it's been a user roles like that. So uh so that's it how we able to create that in that need six. So this is that need six. We're able to so what are those packages that we need to have so we can create so number one is we that need core identity in the framework for of course the microsoft ntp framework for ntp framework for SQL server because we are using SQL server and the tools so we can create migration and of course the what's this support bucket is with that core i think this is by default for the swagger so so that's that's the new thing in it that needs six guys so uh this is for now for the initial project and in the next video we will start creating the authentication jwt so we will configure just like before but now it it is in that next six so i think it's just so minimal changes so we will be running that next six now so unified version so if you like this video guys please hit the subscribe button and don't forget to hit the bell button so you will be updated on the next episode or the next video for the user login creation i uh, mean the registration first and then the configuration of jwt authentication in .NET 6 framework so if you want to learn about the esp.net core 3.1 how we did it in the video you can watch the video for my previous version so that's Happy learning and see you next time. Bye-bye.